I mean, I think alcohol and pharmaceuticals are far more dangerous than cannabis oil. Mm. Um, we met lots of people that had benefited from it. We met a little girl called Gianni, who had, um, had been given not very long to live, and she was having up to 200 seizures every hour. And we saw the seizures that she was having, so basically she was just... 200 times every hour and her mum watched a program about this little girl called Charlotte who'd improved had a, the same condition as Gianna and she started taking the cannabis oil and um, the CBD and THC and she'd stopped having the seizures we also met veterinary surgeons that were mm. using um, the cannabis oil on dogs um, one of them had a cancerous growth in their mouth and they put the cannabis mm. oil now, on the, and it the argument, I mean, look, the, the, these are clear there's clear medical benefits if you have these yeah. kind of problems but there's a much wider issue Bobby which is people want everyone to have the right you know without a medical condition, to just be able to walk in and, and help yourself to, to cannabis. The argument against it is it's a gateway drug, that if you get used to that, you want something stronger, ecstasy, cocaine, well, whatever. We saw well, that we, as well. Yeah, we, yeah, not actually through marijuana. Mm. It wasn't. They, they actually give people marijuana when they're on every drugs to get off of it. Right. So that's... But we did, not... we did meet someone, a lady called Jodie, whose son had started taking the cannabis at 14, and now he's 27 now, and he's having psychotic episodes. So we changed our mind I mean, a people, lot of the yeah. time. People overdose on uh, alcohol all the time. They drink yeah. themselves to death, right? Yeah. There's no, been no documented case of anybody ODing on cannabis. No, that's true. Yeah, I mean, that's right. a documented fact. So, yeah. you know, it's not as lethal as many other of these. Well, the doctor no, told me that. He that... actually told me that when I was out. Because you, when, you're, when you're under, yeah. you can hear everything. Yeah. Perfectly clear. You know what's but going some on. doctors will warn psychosis and suicide. There are Mental yeah. health issues can be exacibated. Because but youngsters' you feel like brains you're don't die. develop until they're tw between 25 and 30. So if you start smoking at cannabis, the chances are you will have psychotic mm. episodes. Mm. But medicinally, all that we yeah. saw... So Linda, what was your overview when you came away from this? What did you really think about this debate? I, I just think, medicinally, it has got such a great benefit for health mm -hmm. and everything. And did it help you? Because you were having problems sleeping, It did, you? yeah. I got a chocolate brownie and <laughs> I probably <laughs> overdosed on the chocolate brownie because the same thing, again, you don't know and mm. it takes quite a while for it to work. But I had the best four hours sleep I've had <laughs> since I was out there. And were you concerned? I mean, you, you had a horrible reaction, Bobby, but oh. I just wonder, when you were asked by ITV, will you do this road trip and you'll be asked to smoke bongs and joints and eat the stuff? Stuff as well. Are you concerned about how your behaviour might change? Because John Fashnu was, of course, he was worried well, that he'd become aggressive if he consumed Yeah, but you, uh, actually, they didn't say marijuana. you've got to do it. If they said if you want to do it. Mm. We're doing a documentary on the, this drug, so if you don't take it and find the good and bad, mm. how can you talk about it? Right. But so I did smoke the joints. I smoked the strong ones, the ones that are weak, really weak, and ones that make you laugh. I oh, like that one. Mm. Yes. <laughs> when it gives you yeah. the, the, one advantage, the, the one advantage to uh, it, I think, is that when you have a load of those uh, marijuana cakes, you probably would enjoy this album. <laughs> um, this is That's Merry not Christ a great sales Morgan's point. Morgan's Merry I Christmas. You probably would have to be stoned to enjoy that. But, yeah. um, you know, but then you, you had to be for a lot of Beatles albums, so there's no difference. But I don't, you, when you take it, you don't, I didn't get stoned. I didn't, I, it's just like four and a half pints of lager to me. Right. That's what it was. Then I had another couple of puffs and it was seven pints and then I've had enough.